Now in Roblox, an object can be a parent or a child. It's either inside of something and it can also have its own children. So if an object is a child of something, then it means it's inside of something. If it's a parent of something, then it has something inside of it. So a quick example is that this model has four children and they are each these parts. So four parts inside of the model, four children. And two of these parts have a decal inside. So these two parts have a child and those children are decals. Now, what is the difference between get children and get descendants? So these are both functions that you can call on an instance or an object in Roblox Studio uh, and they will return a table. So when you call them, they will create a table. So in this case, I've called get children on the model. What it will do is it will return a table with the children of the model. And when I say children, I mean the things inside of the model and only at the first step. So even if you have a decal inside of the parts inside of the model, the decal won't count because it's not a child of the model, it's a, actually a child of the part. So we're only looking for the children of the model, so the things inside of the model at the first step down. When I say step down, if you have a look here, you can see if I just enlarge this image, we've got an arrow uh, next to the model right here. And just imagine that we're going down a step to this level here. Okay, we were at this level, we've gone down a step to this level. So only the objects within this level are going to be the children of the model. Okay, so when we call get children, it returns a table. Inside of that table will be the four children or however many children there are of the model or the, or the object. It doesn't have to be a model that you call get children on. It could be any instance, uh, object, uh, etc. If you run this though, it's going to this script, I've got it to loop through the table and it's going to print out the name of every object in that table. So we've got four parts. You can see one, two, three, four. There are four children inside of that model. Now I said earlier that uh, calling get children won't, will only uh, give the children for the first step down from the model. Now we've got uh, a child in each part, so a decal in two of these parts. Uh, so the decal is a child of the part and not the model because uh, it's two steps down from the model, isn't it? One step, two steps. So the, the parent of these decals is going to be the parts. So if you wanted to include every single item inside of the model, regardless of what it's parented to, as long as it is still inside the model, because if you look at these decals, they are still a part of the model. If you collapse the model, you can see they, they disappear because they're hidden within the model. It's just that because they are children of uh, an object that is a child of the model, they aren't included when you call get children on the model. So how can you include every single object that is inside this model, regardless of what their parent is? Because, you know, it, because this decal's parent is a part, doesn't mean it's still not uh, part of this model. So that's where get descendants comes in. If you change this to get descendants like this, it's going to return a table again. However, this time it includes the uh, the decal, the decals, I should say, because if you look here, uh, we've got uh, two parts. In fact, if I just enlarge the output here, we've got two parts. Yeah. And one of the children of that part is a decal and we've got another part and another part we've got a decal inside of that part. So it just prints out every single item inside of the model. Um, you know, it, you could have a decal inside of a decal. It will still count as long as it's inside the model. That is a descendant because it's it descends from the model. It comes from the model. Uh, and if you hide the model, you can't see it anymore. If you move the model, then obviously it's going to move with it, etc. It's a part of the model. So it's a descendant, regardless of what its first parent is going to be it is a descendant, whereas a child is something that's inside of the model at the first step. So these are the four children. Yes, these two parts have their own children, but those children are still descendants of the model, but they're not included when you call get children. Whereas if you call get descendants, it's going to print out uh, every single uh, instance that is a part of that model, regardless of the level of a step when you go down 
through the explorer arrows so thanks for watching i hope that was useful if it was uh, drop a like on the video and share it with anyone who you think would benefit from this knowledge so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time